What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks. You know who this is. It's uh, Mr. S. Warmack. Mr. Warmack on Instagram. Uh, Twitter at Out of Focus. And Low Rent YouTube. Arrogant Asses. That's Dirty Business. And uh, Red Herring Myths. That's all YouTube. And, uh... Check me out on my Facebook, you know, add me, but today I'm going to talk about a topic that's kind of serious, and here we go in four, three, two, one, bad boys, here we go, we're going to talk about ISIS. Now, ISIS, I'm just going to, I'm going to touch on it, ISIS is a, uh, basically Al-Aqsa, I mean, I mean, Al-Qaeda, it's basically Al-Qaeda. At first it was Al-Qaeda linked, and it was Al-Qaeda whatever, but now we know that it's Al-Qaeda. And now, but ISIS, what they are. They're in there. What they did is they went into Iraq, and what they're doing is they're, they're, they're just they're, they're 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 causing havoc and wrecking. They're wrecking. They're causing wreck. What they're doing is they're establishing their brand of Islamic Sharia law, and they're they're taking names, and you know, and that's it. What they did is they started up. Uh, they got Mosul in Iraq. They got um. They got a lot of other northern places, and they're heading towards Baghdad. If not, they haven't by now. And the sad thing about this, you know, all this probably could have prevented, but the, the, the sad part about it, like I said, is a lot of our quote-unquote allies, American allies, and to to a to a to an extent, America is, you know, we're we're not we may not be funding directly, but to a large extent, they're getting funded by pro-Western groups. You know, they've been funded for years by wealthy donors in Kuwait. Qatar and Saudi Arabia, and these are three of our allies that have like they have dual agendas in a war and terror. They want to get rid of the minority that they're trying to suppress. At the same time, if you separate Iraq, you get the oil. See, but it's th now that they're threatening the. I mean, I mean, let me go back. And the, and the bad part about it, here's how bad it is. It's so bad that we're th we're we're we're, we're team. We might be teaming up under up beyond. I mean. Uh, honestly, behind the scenes with Iran. That's crazy. Let me start off this. At the beginning, ISIS, was, it's, uh, they're over there in uh, um, Syria. And then they were fighting uh, Assad and his group over in Syria. And we were, that was one, I think that's one of, the, that was basically one of the groups that we were supporting as far as, they were the quote unquote rebels of Syria. They were uh, going to overthrow Assad and we, that was our buddies and they would establish and pro-democracy this, that, and the third. You know how America gets but the twist is there's like I said Kuwait, Qatar and, and Saudi Arabia they have they have they donated money but uh, now ISIS has aligned itself with the Ba'athist Ba'athist regime once led by Saddam Hussein they have aligned itself with the old guard from a Saddam Hussein's rule you know and now, get this, back in 1990, we attacked Iraq in order to liberate Kuwait from Hussein's clutches. Now Kuwait is helping the rise of the guys that were under him. This, this, is, this is real and this is crazy shit. What this is, we liberated Kuwait in 90 when old man Bush and everybody I think went in. And now Kuwait is trying to put back in charge this is from his party the same people that attacked Kuwait. That's crazy. They took over a town in Iraq at first. When at first, I forget what town it was. They uh, they they got the money. I got the money. They got the money from the bank, and they got like uh, they got uh, American-made vehicles and ammunition. You know, they looted like, like I said. Now they looted the main bank in Mosul, and they got almost they got over four hundred million. They have uh, they can sell oil in the northern Syrian regions. I mean, they control directly. They they control that. Like I said, they're in Syria, so they control the northern oil fields in Syria, and they sell it directly to the Assad regimes. So Assad's kind of like like Assad is, hey, they're off my ass, so it's your your problem. But now, like, what's crazy is the United States may have been working deals with these folks behind the scenes in Syria when they were fighting Syria. Now they're our problem, you know. And, and, and Iraqi Prime Minister uh, Al-Malaki, I forget how you say his name, sorry, 
You know, he he, he probably publicly said this that Saudi Arabia and Qatar are funding ISIS for months. You know, it's 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 crazy. I mean, and about what well, the thing with Iraq is, what they can do is they want. Here's what here's what's going to happen. And here's what I think is going to happen. Iraq can be divided within three. There's a there's a. I think it's what it is the Shiites. What well, this is in Iraq, the Shiites are the dominant, and the Sunnis are the suppressed, or it's opposite. I forgot. I forget. I, I had another video on it, but whatever it is, whatever the majority, whatever I think, I I think Iran's Shiite. So what they want to do is they want to divide Iraq into three. Iran will take the Shiite majority. The Saudi Arabia will take the Sunni majority. My fault. My fault. My fault. They're Sunnis, uh, Saudis, Qatar, and all of their Sunnis, and Iran is, I'm doing this as I'm going on a computer, because this is breaking kind of news, so forgive me if I stammer and stutter, but uh, Kuwait, Saudis, and uh, Qatar, they're, they're, they're Sunni majorities, uh, Iran is Shiite majorities, and what they want to do is, they want to you, you give a third the northern part to Iran, you give the southern part to uh, Saudi Arabia, and you give that western, northwest part to either... Kurd, Kurds, or you give it to um, Syria. But like I said, this is breaking news as it's happening, so this is why I'm kind of, this is why I like doing these podcasts, as you can see. If you haven't noticed, I'm doing a podcast, by the way. But I like doing these podcasts because I can do this on the fly. You know, the, the, the U.S. Treasury has not knows about all this because they, they, they wear the, the finance and the stuff. You know, there's, it, it's just crazy. Here's the crazy part to me. Kuwait is backing ISIS. And ISIS backing the old Ba'athist Saddam Hussein regime. That's, that's called craziness. But if they're doing this, I think there's a deal in hand. So you can, as you can see, you know, it's crazy. I mean, we need to stay, we need to. We need to watch this. Like I said, in Iran, Iran could intervene. They're talking about, but I don't trust these bad boys. So I just want to talk about ISIS. Let you get aware of what it is. You know, it's 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 crazy. Like I said, I get these sent to me. I appreciate the people who sent to me. But what ISIS stands for is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. ISIS, I S I S. So stay tuned and stay aware of ISIS. All right. See you people later. Peace. Do 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 do.